back. Um, today I'm going to start you off in creating your own website using Wix. Um, Wix is what I have used to create the Urban Rhino site. Um, as a teacher, I've also used it um, to create a couple of other sites for um, our food pantry that I run and um, I'm the prom coordinator so I've made a prom website. Um, I've also made multiple other websites um, for friends and family members so I'm going to walk you through the steps of basically setting up a website. Um, just the, the very start is what we're going to get into. Logging in, um, how you're going to choose your template on Wix, um, and then we will go from there in the next video. So once you go to Wix.com um, you're going to see, you know, once you actually have your login information created, you would normally just click on sign in um, and it will automatically take you to that. Sometimes it will keep you automatically signed in if you choose that option. So um, right now I'm going to hit get started. This is where um, I would click on this new to Wix sign up. Obviously by default. Um, you'll see my email and information here that is for my Urban Rhino blog that um, that would take me to those websites that I would edit. So new to Wix, so if you are a student of mine, um, this is where you're going to click. Or if you are just um, an Urban Rhino viewer of this video and you want to check this out and get started, go right here. So new to Wix, hit sign up. You're going to enter your email address here, um, type your email, password, type your password again, and hit sign up. Um, because I already have an, an account created, um, I am going to just log in. So once you do all that, those steps, um, like I said, from now on, you're going to go to the login part. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to hit log in. I'm not a robot. Sometimes this will pop up. Um, this is kind of a newer thing. It's pretty annoying, um, but it wants to make sure that you're not trying to log into someone else's account. And sometimes it does it once, sometimes it'll do it three times. So you just have to verify all of this. All right, so good job, I'm not a robot. Hit log in. Um, and you're going to see some websites here. So this is my Urban Rhino one. Obviously you should have seen that before. Um, the Bulldog Pantry, which is the our school corporation's pantry that I said that I am in the coordinator for. Our prom um, website there. I am the president of our my daughter's PTO. So there's our PTO website. I just combined them all into one email address. It was a lot easier to have everything all here together. Um, there's another one here, um, a website that you'll see some later tutorials. I'm starting to create a website for my sister, um, and so you will see some of those. So um, for this particular tutorial, um, from here, what you're going to want to do is create your template. So you're going to go to Explore, um, I'm sorry, you want to go to Create New Site right here. So once you click on that, um, you can pick on what kind of website do you want to create. Um, if you have something specific in mind, like you know for sure that you are going to be selling a product, you might want to start by looking through the online store one. Um, if you know that you're going to have a blog for sure, you can start there. However, all of these um, I had to pause it there for a second. So if you're doing um, a blog, you could start there. And then any of these, though, you can add the store part to or the blog. Um, there are a million other apps you can add to these websites as well. So um, for my students, what we're going to do is um, we will start with, um, let's go to blog. We're going to hit choose a template. And there is one on here that I'm going to have all of my students use. Um, 
and I'm going to provide the link for you guys um, but for the rest of you who aren't my students let me scroll through these a little bit so you can just kind of get an idea of how different all of these templates look and um, they can all be customized so just because you're choosing one of these doesn't mean that's exactly the way it's going to look so you can change the color scheme you can upload different pictures you can upload your own pictures or Wix provides pictures as well um, but let me find um, the website I think the one that I chose is actually under art so let me get that so under creative and I believe it was portfolios let's try this one so you can see all the different ones and if you click on this one right here this is the one that we're going to be using if you go to view so usually when I create a new website I'll go through and look at all the different ones that I like and I will hit view and I'll let that one pop up and then um, I might go back and look for some more and hit view again and then that way it opens a new tab with the three or four top ones that I like and then I'll kind of look through those and really narrow it down to the one that I want to use so now that I've chosen the website that I want to use so for my students in my jewelry and glass classes that will be creating their own websites um, starting this year this is the website that you will be using and we're, we are all using the same one so that my um, tutorials will make a lot more sense um, that way they look the same for all of you um, so if you go to enter site maybe it's going slow here um, you'll see what this website is going to look like so um, again for my students they will be changing this out so it has their name there um, they can have it say jewelry designer jewelry and glass designer um, whatever they want it to say there um, they're gonna feature some of their pieces that they'll make in class here um, if you're an artist or um, a graphic designer or whatever and you wanted to use something like this um, this would be where you would you know pick out your best pieces to feature on that first page so there's a portfolio um, there is a client showcase which my students are actually going to take that tab out um, and about which is like a bio page a contact page here and then you know if they wanted to be able to book um, book appointments or whatever online they have that option so if you are a hairstylist or um, you run some kind of business where you would need to take appointments you can do that like I said if you wanted to sell product so you know for instance my students if they wanted to sell their jewelry pieces down the line they could actually um, create a store and I will show you in a later tutorial how you can do that um, so from here the last thing I want to show you is um, just basically clicking this site like this is the one that you want to choose and um, how to save it so you'll click edit this site that will automatically add that website now to that dashboard of websites so your dashboard when you first logged in like I said looks like this so now you can see that website is on here added to all the other ones that I have right now it's unnamed and it doesn't have a domain name so the domain name is for instance on my urban rhino one is www.urbanrhinocolumbus.com um, so that's something you can purchase if you want a more official one um, Wix like for my students you guys will have um, just a generic it'll probably say wix.com backslash and your name that will be your website name um, any of you that wanted to pay to upgrade to have a more professional site you can do that at a later point so this is kind of the interface of um, the Wix website so you can get started you can watch those videos if you want just click off and this is what it looks like so I'm going to get into more of the specifics of how to actually build your website and how to edit this template in a later tutorial the last thing I want to show you is how to save it so if you click save up here the very first time you do it it's going to ask you to name it um, so 
Um, if you are a student of mine, you're going to do your first and last name. Um, if you are not a student of mine, you can name it whatever you want. Um, so for the sake of my students, I'll just put my name. Um, so it would look just like this. Now, mine says Urban Rhino because I have um, a uh, an upgraded website. So yours won't say that, um, but just know that this is going to be the title of your site right here. Save and continue. Okay. And then what will eventually happen is at some point I'm going to ask you guys to publish your site. And what that does is that makes it officially live. Um, so that will make it to where someone, you can tell them what your website, you know, go to this web address and they will be able to pull up your website. But for my students, until we get it further along and more added to your website, we won't publish it, but you will just continue to save it. So just hit done. So right now this site is unpublished, so you can't type it into an address bar and find it. Um, however, it's saved. So when I come back the next time, all my work that I would have done would still be saved. Okay, thanks for watching. In the next tutorial, um, I'm gonna get more into how to start thanks for editing watching this your video. website. Make sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel.